management accounting, cost-based pricing, target costing. This is Ken Boyd with St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email address and our phone number. You'll see our website on our YouTube channel at the end of the presentation. We're continuing in with, with cost accounting, and now we're going to switch to the other side to pricing. And I'm going to use my Levi Strauss gene manufacturing example and talk about how do we price the genes. There's a couple of methods. And as a source, you can look at the flexible budgeting work that we did in cost accounting number 10. The first method is cost-based pricing. And this is used under these market conditions. There's a high volume producer, so Levi's is producing a lot of genes. And the customers are price sensitive, meaning they're willing to go to another vendor if they think the Levi's price is too high. So what we do is we compete, compute the total cost of production to make a pair of jeans, and we're going to add a percentage of cost on top of that that represents our profit. Let's go to the Excel document and let's look at the cost price base pricing example. I'm going to start off on the right. So for a given level of production, in this case 100,000 pairs of genes in a year, we're going to multiply 12 times 100,000 and get variable costs of 1.2 million. We have fixed costs of 120,000. That's a subtotal of 1.32 million dollars. We're going to multiply that number times 10 percent. That's where we get $132,000. When we add all this up, variable cost, fixed cost, and profit, we get $1,452,000. That is the new total cost including our profit. And if we divide that by 100,000 pairs of jeans, we see that we have a price per pair of jeans of $14.52. On the left hand side I've laid it out as you've seen it in some of the other examples we've worked on. Sales, there's the 1452. Variable costs, 1.2 million. We subtract those two to get a contribution margin. We subtract the fixed costs and we end up with operating income or profit of 132,000 which is what we calculated on the right hand side. So that is cost based pricing but there's a problem. If you look at the bottom of the page here in PowerPoint, it says what we're ignoring when we do cost-based production is the brand, the image, the market position, the value of the name Levi's when we're pricing the jeans. Because we're not getting as much out of that value, the value of the brand name, as we probably otherwise would under a different pricing scenario you'll see later. The second method of how we price the Levi's jeans is target costing. In this case, there's an assumption that you can constantly innovate your product to reduce costs. Design it differently, use different materials, use fewer parts, which saves you money. So product design changes among those innovations is the fastest way to reduce costs. Think about a car company that's able to produce a car with fewer parts that would save cost. So the result is we're going to keep pushing costs down and if we do that we're going to have a wider profit margin. And here's the reason why. If you look at the formula at the bottom of the page, we take a competitive market, we come up with a market price that we think is competitive which means we're competitive with other people in the business. We're going to subtract the desired contribution margin and what's left over is going to be the cost that we're going to target. In other words, we want the cost to be at that number or lower, and the more we can lower it, the wider the profit margin is going to get. Let's flip to our target costing example, and again, I'm going to start over on the right-hand side. We decide on a competitive market price, it happens to be $20 per pair of jeans. We multiply that by 100,000 pairs of jeans, we get $2 million in revenue. And we decide of that two million, we'd like 15% of that to be our profit, or $300,000. So two million less 300,000 means that there's 1.7 million left, and that has to cover all of our costs, which is why we say target cost. You'll see in our example, when we put the numbers into the left-hand side, into our 
flexible budgeting schedule that we've seen before. There's our $20 sale price. There's the $2 million. There's the fixed cost of $120,000 we saw last time. And to get the variable cost, I'm going to click on that cell. We're taking the $1.7 million target cost on the right, and we're subtracting the fixed cost of $120 at the bottom. So it's the target cost here in green, less the fixed costs, is a way of coming up with the variable cost. You know your math is right because the operating income at the bottom is equal to the profit margin on the right. One more way that we can price the jeans, and that is value-based pricing. And I want you to think of the first iPhone. iPhone, a popular product in short supply, big demand for the product. So how did Apple price the product? Based on what they thought customers were willing to pay, which is why that first version of the iPod was five or six hundred dollars. The perceived value of having the product, in this case the iPhone, is high. People really thought it was valuable and were paying were willing to pay a lot of money because they perceived it, they thought it to be very valuable. There's a consequence though to value-based pricing, and that is you lose price-driven customers. A certain number of us weren't willing to pay $500 for a phone. And the other thing is it might bring in competitors when people see that they can pay, that they can pr have big profits by creating their own version of the iPhone. Competitors come into the business. We've all seen that happen. That creates more competition and less profit for, in our iPhone example. That's the end of part five. You'll find part six on YouTube soon. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. To register for live tutoring and live chat sessions, including one-on-one, -on -one, stltest.net's our website. You'll also find a complete list of all of our videos in the bottom of the home page in the video listing. Here's our email address and our phone number, and we'll see you next time.